All right, it's Saturday, 2, 12 p.m. We're just gonna run it. We're just gonna run it. Join me. Alrighty then. Forgive me if I start bleeding randomly throughout this vlog. It's kind of my trademark after I shave. I'm the bloody Uber driver. The bloody Uber driver. Have you seen that new film from Guy Ritchie? The bloody Uber driver. Look, even the bloody Uber driver agrees with us. <sighs> I'm thinking about movies because I haven't had the time to sit down. I, I have the holdovers I have to watch. Not to mention, the freaking new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I used to be on that shit. And I haven't seen one episode from the new season. I just don't have the time, you know? It's already two o'clock, I woke up late. It's like the only rest I get. And something is peculiar about this Saturday night. Uh, looking at my opportunities and to see what kind of boost pay. That's where they circle a little area and they offer you like a, oh, it's almost like a surge pay, but from one hour to the, to the next hour. And Saturday, April 13th, today, there's boost at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, great, I'm gonna take advantage of that. But what scares me is this one. 11 p.m. to 12 a.m., you're offering all drivers an extra dollar and 50 cents? You know, why? Why would you, isn't that peak going out Miami time and the, and the areas they circled is all of Brickell, all of Miami Beach, even up to Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, all that area. Isn't any Uber in his right mind activated at the time of 11 to 12 a.m.? Why would you voluntarily give an extra dollar and 50 cents for every ride between that hour? Unless you knew that it was gonna be slow and you had to motivate people to keep driving. I don't know, I just figured like everybody waits Saturday nights, that's, especially if you don't have a premier car, like UberX, is that, is that, am I only seeing that opportunity? You know, some people get those turbos, they call them turbo, and, and if, you, if you download the Uber app, it's kind of complicated. If your iPhone is in Spanish, Boost is called Turbo, and if you're, iPhone is in English, Boost is called Boost, but it's the same shit. Some people get the Boost over the airport, and then you'll get the surge pay, if the airport's paying $2.50 surge, but there's a $5 Boost, you'll get an extra $7.50 for every ride you take out of the airport, and some, some drivers are seeing that. I never see Boost or Turbo in the airport. I only see it on the streets. And for some reason, don't know how they know the information, but when they're offering you extra money, best believe it's not busy. <laughs> like from the hours of 12 to four to six, which there is a boost pay, like you'll see they'll, and they do slick shit too. Like you'll be in the area and then they'll move you out of the area. So your next ride is not gonna have that extra pay. They're just sons of bitches, man. I just wish they would be a more upfront, like, why is there a boost pay? Like, look, let's open it up. Look at all that. He's talking at me Saturday in Miami. There's plenty of tourism here. Saturday in Miami, covering all these touristy areas. You're offering me a, an extra dollar from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m.? That's like prime time going out time. Like, all right, I, I don't know. I just find it interesting that they have that information and then they decide to put the, maybe it's a mistake. They, they're, they're known to make mistakes. But offering a boost at a time where it's gonna be busy anyways. I mean, last night, there was a lot of people on in Miami Beach, Brickell and everything, but the night kind of ended early. And I was kind of disappointed. I only made $210 yesterday, Friday night. And yeah, I did start early and I did X rides in Miami Beach to supplement, but for a Friday night, it wasn't that great. 
you know, I want to make three hundo on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I want to make on a on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those three days, I want to make nine hundred dollars. You know, and I only made two two ten yesterday. So let's see how today goes. My goal is to reach three hundred. My goal is to reach three hundred. Right now, I'm at zero, and it's two twenty. Let's get the car washed. <sighs> All right, the line at the car wash is bigger than usual. I don't want to overthink ever anything about this stuff, but it's just curious the weird times they decide to offer you a bonus. Oh, another thing that happened. They used to give you a dollar extra for uh, driving an all-electrical vehicle, which obviously the Tesla qualifies for. But you would see that dollar in every trip that you gave, right? So if you did 500 trips in a month, you got 500 extra dollars that month. Now it's like on a quest type thing where you have to do at least 200 to make $200. So the most they'll ever pay you in a month for the extra dollar EV shit is 200. So I've told. So, so that's how I'm understanding it. Let's see, it's here at the, um, on the opportunities tab. As you can see, I'm at 30 out of 200, right? And the cutoff date is like May 11th, yeah. But, so it's an extra, extra $210 for 200 rides. And um, I don't know, that's just seems like a cost cutting thing because I always do over $200 a fucking month. And you'll look at it like, oh, I'm getting an extra $210 on a lump sum. Yeah, but in the aggregate, on, on a monthly basis, they're probably giving me more than that. And I've already seen some $2.60 Uber X rides. Tienes wipey, perdona. Tienes wipey. Gracias. Yo voy. So, it's just interesting how they finesse you, like, you know, a, a dollar extra ride is, was a pretty, but it was already included. That's why the lowest X ride I think I ever saw driving the Tesla was $3.80 something cents. But now I'm seeing $2.80 something cents, $2.60 or something like that. Somebody posted a screen grab. It was kind of crazy. But whatever, I mean, in a way, it's like you're getting paid less money, but you're getting a lump sum of $210 that you weren't necessarily expecting after you complete the 200 rides. So in a way, it's like, it's almost like you're going to see it. It's less, but you're going to see it more... Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like before, it was unnoticeable. It was already included in all the rides you accepted. So if I, if I had a comfort ride that paid $7.80, that's just what it was. But now that same comfort ride is gonna pay me $6.80. But if I do 200, they're gonna give me a $210 check at the end. So I don't know. Clearly, the old way was better, but I guess this way, you're going to be like, oh shit, I got five rides left to 200. Like, I'm going to get an extra $200 on a random day, you know? All right. Let's get ready for the most peaceful part of my day. Let's just not overthink things, Mario. It's Saturday, we got the whole entire day and night ahead of us. Let's just plow through. Let's just plow through. What, do we, what else do we gotta do? Well, we gotta eat. We might have to piss. <laughs> I only did one premiere ride yesterday. That's random too. Midtown to Brickle. I'm not trying to overthink things. Let's just let's be at peace. Let's be at peace. 
imagine like a whole a mile. I wish there was like a mile long car wash, and I could just like it'll take you like an hour to get through it. It'd be like my meditation. <laughs> Who's got an extra hour? It almost takes an hour after I'm finished fucking wiping down all these seats and drying the fucking exterior. Let's get all that unpopular shit done and be on our way. Hey, you go through all this shit. <sighs> Bro, I even have to open the trunk. I gave ride to people from Publix, Trader Joe's. Look at this shit. They even, they even fuck up your, your trunk space gets fucked up. Gotta clean back here. Motherfucker! The shit you're doing and they don't fucking tip you. They're dirty ass fucking feet. And no one sees this fucking part. Oh, you could have gone straight. Yeah, you could have fucking drove it yourself, asshole. Fuck you. All right, fuck. I bring my jacket. You know, last night got kind of nippy at the airport lot. The good news is the airport's given consistent rides way past one in the morning. So, if the streets aren't busy, there's always people coming into, into South Florida. All right, let's fucking focus. Let's fucking activate. Premiere, baby, premiere. We only want premiere. Mango pineapple. Some, some fucking kids from Brickle last night. Those are the kids who said, you could have gone straight. Motherfucker, we're going to Brickle. This is that fucking exit everybody takes to Brickle. Uh, everybody's coming in this car asking me what the hell is that? What's that smell? What's that smell? Well, you don't watch my fucking vlogs, asshole? It's fucking mango pineapple. Scent best. Two or three sprays back there. Two or three sprays back in here. And this fucking car smells like a dream. All right, activated. Let's get out of here. All right. Got my first comfort ride. I had to pull out of here. I was on the expressway. Coral Way. And it's going into, I don't know, somewhere downtown. So we're doing it. First ride of the day. It's a $10 plus ride, so it's not that bad. We get, we, we're, we're on the map. We're getting on the map. All right, it was not downtown, it was Dolphin Mall. I don't know how I misread that. Maybe I just accepted it too quick and I just saw the lines. And here it is, It here it is. Every South American visitor's dream. Dolphin Mall in Doral, Florida. This is the dream for Venezuelans, Colombians, Cubans, Dominicans. Puerto Ricans, everyone. <laughs> Costa Ricans, Argentinians, Brazilians. It's funny, I, this is the only place other than the airport that you see all these yellow cabs. Yellow cabs must just have a monopoly on the airport to Dolphin Mall rides, because I've, I've, never, I've never had a ride from the airport to Dolphin Mall. All right. We got to, we got to group ourselves and our thoughts together. Um, this just kind of took me in the middle of fucking nowhere for just a little over 10 bucks, but it's fine. We're here. I activated Premiere only just in case, because you know what? You get some high-end customers 
that go shopping. But I don't think Premiere is going to ring. So let's just turn everything on and see what the fuck, where the fuck Uber wants to take us. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday just like every other Saturday. It's a common Saturday. There's nothing special about today other than good weather. It is starting to get a little hot. I had a little problem. My, my screen froze in the middle of that ride and I had to uh, reset the, the monitor. All right, let's see. All right, almost six bucks going near the airport. Should I do it? Yeah, why not? We're gonna get out of here anyways. Picking up at Dolphin Mall, Uber X. Uber X for six bucks, headed toward the airport. It's just a regular ass Saturday. There's nothing special, ordinary day. It's a day out of my life. Been thinking about the Hertz rental and the fact that there's a new price now, 280. I had a buddy of mine telling me like, bro, you're gonna get surgery in uh, on, in June, early June. So you're only gonna have this car for about, what, a month, a month and a half, two months. Why not get it at the new special low price and fuck the insurance? Then it's like, that's when I'm gonna get in a car accident. And it'll be on my insurance, not hurts. Bro, this is like impossible to fucking turn here. Alright, here's the impossibility of Dolphin Mall. Like, when am I... These guys got a permanent green arrow. I have this stop sign. And the car in front of me wants to make a, a left. So what do we do? Do we just use the Tesla powers and speed through everybody? Alright, we got a little window of opportunity here. Um, oh, this guy's at the Courtyard Marriott at the Dolphin Mall. He's not at Dolphin Mall. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. It's a hot Saturday. It feels like summer. And it feels like summer on the app, too, because we're not getting the rides we're used to getting. Slow season, slow, slow season is surely approaching us. F1's coming up, guys. F1's coming up May 3rd through 5th. That day, I gotta mentally prepare myself for that. You guys remember what happened last year. I was not prepared, and then the vomit thing happened. This year, I feel like I wanna get up early, work a chunk in the, in the morning, and then work that chunk at night. I don't know, but then you miss the middle of the day. It's just, like I said last year, and I was correct, Uber does not give you enough hours drive time in the day to properly take advantage of all the demand during F1 Grand Prix Miami. But whatever, we're gonna do it. All right, we're picking up this customer and we'll see you at the drop off. Drop, picking up, dropping off, picking up, dropping off probably sitting at that bench right now. All right, dropped off. Nice family of four here by the Doubletree, by the Doubletree Airport Hotel. Regular common people. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Uh... Um, you know, I used to, I used to say that all the time. It's like, it's good to drive nice, normal Miami families around instead of all these, you know, high priced tourists ordering Premier and coming here just to party for the weekend and then fucking shitting on our city and going back to New York or wherever LA. At least, you know, you're providing a service for the community when you drive people who actually live here. Although this apartment complex leaves a lot to be desired. I used to do food delivery. I used to hate delivering food here, man. So I would have to like park in one of these spaces and then like sometimes the elevator's broken, you gotta climb the stairs. I definitely don't, don't 
miss those days. Although I will say this, guys, I did have a lot more fun doing food delivery than rideshare. I don't know why. I just had more fun. Even though it paid less and a lot of bullshit happened to you. A lot more bullshit would happen to you. Fuck. All right, let's go to the fucking airport. Um, there is something about when I, when I, if you check my vlogs, when I went back to UberX after I had to turn in the Tesla for the first time, and then especially when I got the Corolla and I saw like a normal UberX car, there was something magical about being ordinary. I think I even had a vlog about it called like something about the, something, the comfort of being regular or something. I don't know, the comfort of being ordinary or Uber X. It was an Uber X vlog and it was just me doing rides in the Toyota Corolla and talking about how the stress level was down because you weren't constantly fighting to get a comfort ride, a comfort electric ride. Where are the premieres hiding? How long do I have to wait to get a premier ride? You know, that stress, which I'm seeing now, wasn't, you just, you were either doing X or you were not doing rides. So you had no choice. And there was a comfort in that. Um, but then again, it sucked driving that Toyota Corolla and it sucked, uh, you know, suffering only Uber, Uber X rides and working all day. And, Barely scraping 150 bucks, man. It sucked. But fuck that those days are coming back, man. It's like fucking Saturday night. I only made 200 bucks. 210, 214 or something it was. Where it's like, fuck, man. You know, that's just a little bit better than what I was making in the Toyota Corolla. And I didn't have to pay these absorbent fucking rental costs. Anyways, I'm going to ask the group chat because somebody was going to look into the new special price for the Hertz. 280 a week is awful tempting, man. And I'm stuck. So I have to do something. I have to rent a car. All right. Wow, this map looks depressing. Let's go to the airport. Just a regular day, a regular old Saturday. Nothing special, nothing special to see here. The lady gave me a $5.87 tip. The first lady I took to Dolphin Mall, so God bless her. See, there is something good about doing regular old people take an Uber from your community. They tip well, or they at least tip. And it, tipping has gone down in the last couple of weeks as well, man. I've 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 worked all fucking day and gotten like three tips out of like twenty rides. It's crazy, you know. Oh, my mom's texting me. Okay, we're here at the lot. They put these damn cones in here so you don't can't go into this lot and the second lot's closed so what's the fucking point anyways i'm not expecting to get anything great out of here so i'm just turning everything on and accepting the first fucking radar or anything that comes in here well the second lot is open today so they don't open it till later what the fuck is wrong with this guy is this a good spot to drop off your family idiot Slowly but surely, I'm getting into one of those Mario moods, huh? All right, battery ran out. Wow, what a shitty ride. 17 minute trip for $8.92. Airport pays like shit, and it's off peak hours. To Coral Gables. <sighs> battery exhausted. Uh, is it gonna be one of those days? Is it gonna be a ranty day? I don't want it to be. I really just want to work smoothly. You know what would be the best thing right now? I was just thinking about this. Throw me a premiere ride from the airport, which usually only happens when you bring in somebody in, 
from here to West Palm Beach. I saw an offer, when somebody posted on the group chat, it was like $155. Mm. Bring it on, bro. I know it was from Fort Lauderdale to a little bit further north to Palm Beach, but still, it's like an hour and some change ride for 150. All right, 19 to Dania, oh my God. Let's just, let's just get to the beach. 12 fucking 65 to go to the Miami Beach. Can you fucking believe that? Can you believe that ride? From the airport. Well, I'm not coming back to the airport unless I have a fucking ride. Premier ride from the airport to Palm Beach, bro. Just get your nut in one fucking trip. Instead, I'm doing $12 offers to Miami Beach. All right. Well, what, once we're in Miami Beach, we're going to work that area. So, moving on. See you in Miami Beach. All right, here at Fountain Blue. I had a lot of shit to say during that fucking ride. First of all, I love this. How many times have I gone from the airport to the Fountain Blue and it's like a 15 minute ride? Easy peasy. Especially now, it's like shouldn't be any traffic. But of course, when I get the fucking argumentative family. Oh my God. It's like the energy in the cabin when you get people that are just in a bad mood or fighting this little fucking girl and her mom were so rude to each other like I almost felt sick to my stomach the way she talked to her mother and then her mother just kind of I felt bad for the mother then as, as the trip progressed like the mother was also kind of rude and it, the energy was ugh. Boy, if I ever talked to my mother that way or my father, bro, they would slap me across the fucking face and well-deserved. The F-bombs this little chick was fucking dropping on her mom and in a rude way, like, like towards her. It's unbelievable. And she was acting like, and you know, this is a fucking nice hotel. You know, you're being treated to. And then at one point, the mother, I was like, I was like up to here. It's like, I just can't wait to drop these fucking miserable people off. And then, I guess the mother at some point had enough with her bitchy attitude, daughter's bitchy attitude. So she's like, oh, listen, we could take this cab. Well, listen, you could drop me off. We, You could take this cab back to your, your campus or whatever. And I'm like, the fuck you think I'm fucking gonna spend another 20 minutes plus in a car with this negative energy. Fuck that. I was already, already turned everything off so they couldn't add a stop or anything to the ride. And if they would have asked me, I would have been like, sorry, I've been working all morning. This is my last ride. Best Guess you gotta order another Uber. Man, just the disrespect. And I feel bad for this generation and the, the this, I don't know, this was like a weird, like the mother wasn't too, I, I was just thinking like, if I can't spend five minutes in the fucking car with your drama, imagine if that was my wife and my kid and I had to deal with it and I had to spend the rest of the fucking day with that energy, I would just blow up. I would be... I guess you realize why there's so much divorce, right? Like, who wants to be in that situation? Bitchy daughter bitching at her mom. About trivial shit. Meanwhile, who's footing the bill for all this shit? Are you kidding me, bro? I would be so miserable. It just feels like when you when you have people like that in your Uber, you just want to drop them off as soon as possible. And of course there was traffic. Like I said, I've done this trip in like 15 minutes, maybe even less. It's a direct ride on an expressway. And you get caught in traffic here. And it's just like, it's always the bad customers you get stuck in traffic. And none of it was directed towards me, but I just didn't like the conversation they were having between them. It was just the energy was so horrible. How can you talk to your mom that way? Especially one who's paying for a nice little weekend getaway. 
and the mother had this I could feel like she's dealing with this who knows if she's even going to therapy because she doesn't know how to deal with her foul mouth bitchy daughter whatever it's over the problem is taking that energy with you on your next ride so it doesn't look good man it doesn't look good for the American family I think man and, and, it, and it's like the, the amount of entitlement and just they're just living in la la land you know how many how many people around the world are thinking about where their next meal's coming from here they're arguing about fucking staying at the Fountain Blue and whether they have enough time to go uh, get their fucking nails done or go shopping, whatever the fuck they were arguing about. It's like, wow, I would never talk to my mom that way. And, uh, well, let's just block that fucking trip. And I can't believe I only got paid the what, fucking $12 to be stuck at $12.65. To be stuck in a fucking therapy session with a bratty teen and her fucking mom as they enjoy the pleasures in this life that one cannot be a part of because we're too busy fucking working every day. I'm telling you, man. Before I say any, any other controversial shit, I'm just going to end it there. Because now my, my brain goes into fucking dark territories. Like, good, good. Let fucking World War Three fucking start. Let's start with this fucking crowd. God damn it. Pisses me off, bro. Imagine... Uh, thank God that's not my family. I'd be the abusive father. <laughs> All right. Let's move on, man. Jesus Christ. It's so hard to have a vacation in Miami Beach when the weather's beautiful, isn't it? Got better shit to argue about. It's the I end, just end fucking Western civilization already. It's over. We failed. We failed. We got everything we want, and we're still not happy. Fuck it. <sighs> Sorry, if you can't be happy here, where the fuck can you be happy? Are you fucking kidding me? Can't be happy here. Can't be happy here. Too many palm trees. Too many people having a good time. Let's just move on. All right, well, as you can see, we're cruising down the Collins and the turbo is activated. I'm on Comfort, Premier, and Comfort Electric, and nothing is ringing, and nothing's gonna ring. Let's, uh, let's see, let's turn on green and X, let's see. You know, I might have to filter myself in Miami Beach and just do local rides here with this boost, but, well, I got X on and it's not ringing. This is just a shitty day, man. What are we gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's almost not worth it. You know, it's funny. It's like you you don't work these hours and you start doing airport rides and you feel like, oh fuck, I should have gotten an early start. And then you get it, or you get an early start and then nothing rings and you're like, why did I waste my time and my battery giving rides when maybe tonight is just an airport day? Whatever. Everything's on and it's not ringing, so I guess we just leave everything on. On a positive note, it is a rather beautiful day here in South Beach. I wish I was just here, like, you know, enjoying the beach. Like, parked and in the sand, in the water. Today would have been a good day for that. Because it's not like I'm making any money anyways, so... I don't know. Alright, got my first bite. Not, nothing special. I have to go to downtown Miami, picking up a lady here for a little over $9, an UberX. But, you know, I'm going to take it because, you know, nothing else was ringing. 
So I'll see you in downtown Miami. See you later, South Beach. It's been nice. <clears throat> All right. I dropped off that couple. Fuck. Took 25 minutes to get to fucking Miami Beach to Brickle. It's fucking insane. And there's so many people out, but nothing's ringing except X. This is, I'm like, I'm telling you, this is like time to pack up and uh, come out later. Because well, if I'm going to be stuck in traffic for $9 fucking X rides, like, this is how Uber fucks you, bro. It's like you have no, there's no options. It's just get, stay in the shit, stay in the shit or make $0 for the next three hours. You know, I'm almost ready to throw in the towel and just come out and fucking hit the airport tonight and just fuck all this mess. It's just so many people, but no one's ordering Comfort or Electric or Premier. It's all X. See, I just turned off green and X and now nothing's ringing. And the map is all fucking gray. Like, there ain't shit happening. And I'm wondering if tomorrow, Sunday... See, see, this, this is where you get burned. This is how you get burned. So I have this bad experience of coming out early on a Saturday, right? So then, in my mind, I'm like, well, fuck it. Tomorrow, I'm not going to bother coming to, coming to work early. You know, I'm not going to bother coming to the beach in the afternoon. Why? To do $9 X rides? No. So then... Tomorrow, I'll not come out, and then I'll hear on the group chat how everybody's doing premiere rides, and it's exploding, and everything's fucking great, and there's zero traffic, and everybody's making their fucking nut for the week. So you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. So you just have to be available. You cannot predict. Just because it was this way today, tomorrow might be a great day in the, in the fucking afternoon. And that's the frustrating part about this. You know, if I had a crystal ball this morning before I was getting ready to come out and I would know that I would be giving rides to unappreciative little brats and I'd be making $9 for 25-minute rides stuck in traffic, I would have just said, no, nah, fuck it. I'll just stay in bed. I'll organize my room. I got laundry to do. I got shit to organize I got things I could spend this time with my family my nephew's at my parents house right now I could be there having good family quality family time instead I'm here in the sun uh, watching unappreciative people fuck off their lives and I'm helping them do it for peanuts Way to stay positive, Mario. It's just, the whole city needs to be firebombed right now. <laughs> I say that and I'm joking, right? I'm joking. I don't want World War III or anybody to be hurt or anybody to suffer any kind of drastic wartime consequences. But, I mean, we're living in those fucking times, right? It's all you hear in the news. All right, I'm... You know what? I'm just... I'm, I think I'm going to diamond transition here. I might just go to my parents' house, get something to eat, spend some time with my nephew, and, uh... And my parents live near the airport, so... I have to head in that direction anyways. So... I don't know if this was... comical or entertaining to anybody, but... me frustrating because I started early on a Saturday and Saturday sucked. Uh, I hope it worked out for everybody watching this, but for me, it's not working out. And that's why we're gonna diamond transition into a later time of the day. Diamond transition, diamond, diamond transition, transition, diamond transition, diamond transition. All right, so I took a little break. Got something to eat at my mom's house. Spent time with my little nephew and uh, activated around the airport where my mom lives. Got a Comfort Electric here to Overtown. Not the best area, but I guess they're dedicating a new Overtown Youth Center here, so some people are coming into this neighborhood. 
It's in the middle of downtown Miami, and not the best neighborhood, but as everybody says, it's it's just a changing area. It's a growing area. I love, love these self-important people here that lived in Miami their whole life, and they're like discovering, like, yeah, it's called. It was the ghetto. It's the ghetto. Oh, it's so it's developing. Oh, it's just growing. It's growing. Yeah. It's still the fucking ghetto, bro. It's still the fucking ghetto. Doesn't matter how many little youth centers you put here or nightclubs. 11 is right over there. Downtown is not a safe area for you after dark. You know? They just think like building buildings here. It's just going to ch change the demographic of the place. It, it, dude. This is a scary area, even into further down into downtown. They have so much construction and so many, so many buildings going up. It's like, hey, I'm all for it. If you can make the place look great and clean it up a little bit, I'd love to be able to walk freely on the streets of downtown Miami after 12 midnight. And for there to be businesses that are opening and pizza places like South Beach has, but I just don't see it. I just don't see it, not now. Look at this, this is where the signature bridge is gonna be. You see the arches back there? Um, whatevs. Man, 11 looks so different in the daytime than it does at night. So I am activated here with only Comfort, Comfort Electric and Premier, and we're seeing what happens. I'm noticing like the traffic hasn't subsided. There was traffic getting on here. There was traffic on on A36. There's tra it's traffic like it's a weekday and it's Saturday. It's, it's just so strange. And the group chat is now activated. They're realizing what a shit show it is. Not even X is ringing for some of these guys here in Brickle. Like I told you guys, I hate to be negative Nancy. I'm the negative Nancy, but the fucking flow of orders in Miami is changing. I think I'm thinking about focusing on Fort Lauderdale. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, Sunday, uh, clearly I'm going to start up here, but first opportunity I get to go to Broward County, I'm taking it. Fuck it. You know? I mean, today at the airport, they throw me that lowball $19 offer to go to Dania Beach. Maybe I should have taken it. All right, so right here. So this is downtown. Now, I used to work. I um, used to walk around here when it when I went to college because my college is down here. And look, look at these new things that are being constructed, like new buildings. But as a kid, when I would walk down these streets, these were dangerous ass streets. When I was a young man, this is not. Look, look, they're all, they all have like these, uh, you know, fencing and stuff. None of these businesses are open at night. You know, look at this Ross store. I used to walk around here with my friends when we were in college and during the day. But this, this place got scary at night. It still is scary at night. Like there's nothing to do here. There is absolutely nothing to do here. Uh, so maybe get off the Metro mover and, uh and uh, go to one of these uh, apartments that are down here. Like right in front of us is Brickle. But on the other side of Brickle, just, just, you know, it's not safe. I mean, all throughout my childhood, I saw homeless people lining up. You still see them. I just don't understand how putting all this new construction here is gonna get rid of that, but whatever. I mean, I'm sure they know what they're doing, right? But downtown Miami has looked the same since I was a young boy. Now there's a lot more foot traffic here because obviously there's way more people that live in this area, especially in the Brickle side. But on this side, like, this, is, this was a daytime only uh, walkable area. And uh, at nighttime you wouldn't be caught dead here. And you know what? God bless them if they could change that. Uh, I'd love to see the day the fucking utopia of Miami. Come, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for this fucking dream that you're selling everybody.
I'm ready for it. We can, we can walk, children, walking hand in hand, skipping down the fucking streets of downtown with not a worry in sight. But for right now, I don't see it. Puppy dogs and fucking rainbows everywhere. All right, we crossed the bridge and now, okay, now we see, now it's like society. All right. Like none of, none of the, none of, uh, no, no apartment in any of these buildings is affordable at this point, at this point to the regular person. Just look at this traffic, man. I don't understand. This is not Saturday traffic in Brickell. This is not Saturday traffic. It just isn't. Look at all these cars. I don't see it this way ever on the weekends. Now, um, I got a radar, a comfort radar came in for eight bucks and it got, it got picked up like that. It didn't even allow me to click it. So things must be tough around here. I might, must not be the only Uber in a Tesla waiting for something other than an Uber X ride to pop up in Brickell. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. My mind is... I just... Thought I was going to have a peaceful Saturday. You know, like, just like... Even if I had to do Uber X, like... Smooth sailing, no traffic. And I'm just getting, like... Monday or Tuesday, regular day vibes from this. I'm stuck in traffic. Uh, nothing's ringing. It doesn't feel like it's a weekend. It feels like it's, you know, a weekday. And I'm stuck here. So what are we going to do? We can't do anything. This is what we've set for ourselves to do. And we're here. There's nothing else we can do. Just circle around Brickle. Hopefully somebody will order a ride and get us the hell out of here. Look at all these Teslas. All these Ubers. Yeah, at least they have customers. I don't got shit. It is a very beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. It's overcast now. Uh, sun's going down. Uh, it's a lovely day to take a walk. I think I'm going to park somewhere. And just w wait for a ride. Because I, I, I'm... I think I'm making myself anxious by driving around in traffic. JW Marion. Yeah, so I'm just gonna find a little parking spot and camp out until I get a, a ride. All right, I was gonna park I did a little circle around Brickle Key. And I got a, another Comfort Electric. All of a sudden, I'm getting Comfort Electrics. Haven't gotten a Comfort Electric in months. But now, all of a sudden, we're Comfort Electric. It's not like I haven't had it on. I always have it on. So, we're going to the beach. It was actually... Here, I screen grabbed it. It was actually not a bad ride for the distance. Not bad. A little under 18 bucks for a 23 minute ride. We can do that. So, and she's up two blocks away. So, see you in Miami Beach. And after that, man, I think I'm going back to the airport and see how that atmosphere is doing because this is brutal. All right, I've been, I did three fucking rides since I dropped off. That Comfort Electric was here to Mila, which I just left because when I got to Mila, I picked up these three girls. One of them was passed out, I heard. They were being kind of quiet. I think they were vaping. They were going to Faina. So when I get to Faina, they get out of the car and I get a ride coming back to Mila. So I'm at Mila now. So it's been Mila to Faina, Faina to Mila. Now I need a ride to go back to the Faina. So Faina Mila is hidden. All right, I'm at 94, so I'm six bucks away to 100. 
which isn't terrible news, right? It's only 8.30, so usually I always say the first hundred is the hardest to fucking make. Um, well, whatever. We're here in Miami Beach. Uh, I haven't put on X or green on. I'm just on Comfort, Comfort Electric, and Premier. No Premiers. They were all Comforts. Uh, except for that first Comfort Electric out of the Brickle area. Um, nice women. You know, the woman that from Brickle that coming in here, I guess, was some kind of brand ambassador or fashion creator. She was on the phone talking about hiring some in or meeting up with an influencer to promote her brand. I hope these people know just because you're an influ just because you're a hot chick and you're on Instagram doesn't make you an influencer. Even if you have a, a big following, you gotta know who, like, for example, like if this girl's brand was like a makeup brand, let's suppose she was into skincare and makeup, right? And you're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hire an influencer with a big following. Half the hot chicks on Instagram and TikTok, only, only guys following them are fucking creepy ass old men who are jerking off to their fucking reels at night, right? They're not gonna sell your makeup, sweetie. You gotta find, there's just because you're hot and you're on Instagram doesn't make you an influencer for hot women. Like, a bunch of weirdos follow those girls. Um, myself included. I, I fucking am not excluding myself from the controversy here, okay? The real influencer girls who are selling product for women are the influencers who are influencers because other women are jealous of them. There's a difference. For example, that girl, Alex Earl. I don't follow Alex Earl, that UM girl who's dating the NFL player or whatever. She's huge, right? And she's got a podcast, she's got a, her TikTok is blown up. I don't think a lot of dudes follow that chick. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful girl, not my type. Don't like that she got her boobs done. It's kind of fake, kind of like, but I understand why she's popular. She's popular because young women look up to her, not creepy old dudes. Creepy old dude, you only got creepy old dudes following you or you got girls who are jealous of you following. The ones who are making money are the ones who have girls who are jealous following them. You know, case in point, the Kardashians. I mean, we, we you know, Kardashians. Like who follow what guy follows Kim Kardashian on Instagram? You know, um, maybe gay men. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I see Alex Earl on my for you page and everything. All right, business comfort twenty one thirty three to the Grove. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the Grove. You know what? I want to break a hundred. Anyways, back to my point. Like, I don't follow Alex Earl because I don't give a shit about her get ready with me. I don't need to t t listen to her makeup talk or what foundation she's using. That's all girl shit. Now, I will follow hot chicks <laughs> who are just kind of slutty on Instagram. And even that, you know, I'm kind of past that age. But the dudes that are following those only fan girls are creepy old dudes who are not exactly your target demo for having that influencer hot products. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, no, no, none of these creepy dudes are gonna buy your foundation. <laughs> you need other girls who are jealous of that girl. And usually those two types of people are very different. The kind of, the kind of hot chicks on Instagram that guys are into, and the kind that girls are into are two different. If anything, the, the, the ones that are that guys are into, girls hate. <laughs> you know? People get I mean that's become like a hacky premise, right? Like a girl looking at your Instagram feed. Like, why are you following this girl? Why are you liking this girl's pictures? And it's like just a girl in a bikini showing her, you know, twerking her ass. Or gym. There's a lot of gym girls who dress in like tight, tight leggings and take gym selfies and shit. Like you're you're not gonna you're not gonna market to young women by getting those women to hawk your products. Does that make sense?
It makes sense to me. But what do I know? I can't sell this fucking scent best mango pineapple to save my life, and I'm not even sponsored by them. And I'm an Uber driver. I'm marketing to Uber drivers, and the only thing I market is my suspicious activities. But it's entertaining, right? All right, picking up, and we're going to go to the Grove. All right, we are in Coconut Grove. Quite a bit of people here, too. Um, and it was good to get out of the beach. You know, that ride was all right, but at least we're closer to the airport. I think it's airport time, guys. So I finally hit 115, so that means I broke 100. I'm going to put my little 100... $100 sticker on the group chat. <laughs> and when I tweet that out, it lets everybody in the group chat know that I have made at least 100 or I have sur surpassed 100 I think it's a cool... I also have a $200 one. I think it's a cool way of uh, communicating to people where you're at in the day. So... People are at the airport. I think it's time to head head down in that area and try to now hit. Now our goal is to 200. Fuck, man, this map is all gray, bro. All gray. It's 9:15. Remember, in the beginning of this vlog, I said they're offering that boost pay from 11 to 12. So, what does that mean? Does that mean twi uh, Twitter? Does that mean Uber knows it's gonna be slow? So, if so, we need to start start getting rides out of the airport, hopefully paying over $20 a piece. You know, if I nail four of those right now, we guarantee the 200. And yeah, some surges on Key Biscayne, whatever. What are you going to do? So, we move on. To the airport we go. If anything comes else, every, anything... As a matter of fact, I just put Premiere only on. Because I don't want to be sidetracked anymore. I have a goal now, and the goal is go to the airport and try to get consistent rides back and forth from the airport to wherever. Hopefully paying more than 20, but we'll expect... We'll, 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 we'll play it by ear. And maybe there'll be a good late night tonight. Who knows? Maybe maybe Uber's wrong. Maybe they'll regret putting a fucking dollar fifty boost. Another guy in the group chat has two dollar boost. Same boost, eleven to twelve tonight. But he's got two dollars. I got a dollar fifty. I heard rumors. Uh, not rumors. I heard people talking online about that is considered wage discrimination or something like that. Where it's like, hey, you're paying this guy a different amount to do the same ride from the airport to Miami Beach as you as you are paying the other guy. He's doing the same job, same miles, but you're paying this guy an extra bonus, and this guy doesn't get an extra bonus. So that's something that I've been told is a possible litigation, or you know, people are suing Uber over that. That's just not just rumors that I've heard. That's like been in other markets as well. Because people have noticed that, hey, I got a $5 surge and I'm at the airport. Why doesn't this guy have a $5 surge? And he, he's liable to get the same exact ride I am. But I'm getting paid more than he is? Why is that? Why are you discriminating? Oh, because he's more likely to accept shittier rides and I'm not? Like it's just there's a there's an air of unfairness there. Like if we're doing the same job in the same car, especially, like shouldn't we be getting the same offers as far as uh, opportunities go? Like some people get boost at the airport. I never see boost at the airport, which just pisses me off because it's like I would love to see boost at the airport. All right. To the airport we go. Fucking A. 
All right, I am at the airport. There is no surge at the airport. There's usually surge on Premier. There's no surge. So it doesn't matter what I choose. There's no surge. And we're here. The parking lot doesn't look surprisingly that full. I got in here no problem. The other lot looks like it's open. When do we start panicking? <laughs> if the airport's dead and the streets aren't paying you, when do we start panicking? Okay, $13, 49th Street and 6th Court. That's kind of North Miami Design District. That's not that bad, but come on, bro. I want to at least... All right, what do we got? 17 to Miami Beach. Oh, we'll do 17 to Miami Beach. Or 17 to Biscayne. There's no surge on any of these offers. Okay, we're going to Jefferson and 16th, Miami Beach. We tried to leave the beach, and now we're getting sucked back in. All right, now to leave the famous message. This person is at door one, lower level. Well, you know what? There might not even be traffic, so I'm not even going to tell them to go upstairs. I'll be in a black Tesla. I'll have my hazard lights flashing as I approach door one at arrivals, period. Thank you, exclamation point. Sent. Let's see what the traffic looks like. Because that's going to be the real... Uh, test whether the airport is dead tonight or not is is there already traffic because it's 9 45 bro there should be some traffic but look at this man this lot at this time is usually a lot more filled with ubers it's just weird how like from one day to the next everything changes all right guy was a pilot dropping off here. I'm actually right, ironically, I'm right by Mila. I'm by Lincoln Road. I'm on Michigan. Mila's on Meridian. I don't know whether to stay here or just go right back to the airport. It's just, I mean, there were some flights moving, but I'm like, what about all these people I just drove to Mila and Faina? Like, aren't they here? Do they need to? Do they need transportation? Look at the map, bro. That's fucking gray, man. When you see all that gray, look at that. Some somebody needs a ride in Key Biscayne. When you see all that gray, that's bad fucking news, man. That's like, yo, there ain't shit here. Nobody needs a ride. I don't know why I'm going to the MacArthur side. I have to go back. No, you don't vlog for a you, you, you don't vlog for a while. You kind of lose the habit. I had so many things on on my head while I was driving back down here, and now I can't remember any of them. Um, I think this dude, this pilot guy, I. Talked to him a little bit at the beginning because I was in the taxi lane. I was like, oh, the taxi lane. I saw he was a pilot. And then I said, oh, you know, sometimes they open up the, the, the taxi lane for the Ubers, but sometimes they close it. Come to think of it, we as Uber drivers don't really know why or when they open the taxi lane for us or close it. But it's always better when the taxi lane's open. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. It's more efficient. It's getting kind of crazy. So he did little chat, a little beginning chat. And then as I was like a minute away from dropping him off, he asked me about the Model 3. So he did the same thing I did. Little chat in the beginning, little chat at the end, but all throughout the trip, complete silence. Which is like a piece of advice I sometimes give. Like if you wanna, if you wanna stick to yourself as a, as a rideshare guy, you don't wanna talk a lot, just talk a little bit at the beginning of the trip 
let them ignore them and then talk a little bit at the end and it makes it feel like they had a full conversation with you but they actually didn't anyhow yeah I guess I'm going back to the airport I mean it's only 10 15 um, I forgot what I was gonna say man oh driving at night with the glasses man I'm starting to see my vision my vision man I don't know if it's because these are the first transitional lenses that I've seen, so maybe they're not the best for night. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about... I mean, my prescription really didn't change. I'm thinking about maybe for nighttime driving, sticking to the other pairs I have, or getting a new pair made that are not transition. Because I feel like ever since I got these sunglasses... Uh, with the new prescription that I got. I feel like my vision's getting worse. I feel like an old man. When somebody in the car, like, shows me a direction on their phone. Like, last night I took this nice German couple to this hotel over here on uh, Alton. And they didn't speak very good English. So he was trying to show me on his phone the address and the name of the hotel. And I was, and, and he put the phone right here. And I was like... like taking my glasses off. I feel like an old man. It's like, bro, am I gonna need reading glasses to look at fucking internet memes and shit on my phone soon? Like, what's going on? I don't like it. I'm gonna be 46 next month. And <laughs> unlike 44 and 45, I think I'm starting to fucking feel it. And man, your vision, I was thinking, your vision is a terrible thing to fucking see degrade because it's almost like your life is closing. Like, at some point, if I'm not able to see, it's like, well, I might as well be dead. Like, I don't want to be blind and alive. <laughs> and, uh, life isn't that fucking good. <laughs> Whereas if you lost vision, like, it's still worth living. I think... Once your once your vision goes, it's time to go bye bye. It's time to like Sam Kinison said, <laughs> or the American Indians. <laughs> time to talk to the Great Spirit. <laughs> time to climb the mountain. Talk to the Great Spirit. <laughs> it's over. Life is over, people. Life at forty six is over. <laughs> now clearly. That's not a natural way to think or behave. Clearly, I want to live. But losing your sight, it's like a major part of everyday life. Being able to see and see clearly. And um, it's not nothing I can do. I, I will say this, I'm glad I never got that LASIK. Cause like, what's that come? What what conversation? Am, if I got LASIK 15 years ago, what conversation am I having with the eye doctor right now? Right, I'd probably be going to Baskin Palmer. And uh, I heard you get LASIK. Some people have gotten LASIK two, three times already, and then at a certain point, through the natural uh, aging process, it's called macular degeneration or something. Like you go to get LASIK done again or to correct it, and the doctor tells you, sorry, man, we, we can't LASIK you anymore. It's over for you. No more LASIK. Like, you may as well have just worn glasses all that time. And I'm glad, I'm glad I made that decision, quite frankly. It's one of the things, if I can talk about positive things in my life in the last 10, 15 years, is that I never got LASIK. I was this close to getting it. Like, I, when I worked at the Herald, I had health insurance, even though it didn't cover it. But I had plenty of money. I could have, I could have. It was a real consideration in my mid-20s to 30s. It was a real consideration. Like, especially like around late 20s. 
I used to talk about it a lot to people. I'm like, man, I feel like if I had LASIK and my vision was just perfect, like, I would just be more, I don't know, I would feel more whole, feel more active, feel more young. Because even back then I was starting to kind of get annoying, kind of get annoyed wearing glasses and you know, switching from contacts to, uh, that's what did it. I was doing a lot of yoga and working out. And I, I was um, and surfing. I was like doing a lot of switching from contact lenses to glasses. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And I was like, why don't I just get LASIK and just fucking correct my vision? But it doesn't work that simple. It's not like, oh, I got LASIK. Now I got perfect 20-20 vision far and near. Like, you could still be nearsighted. I mean, farsighted. Just be able to see close and have LASIK not be able to correct that. So I'm glad I avoided that surgery. Uh, and I'm glad that I, I stuck to glasses. And uh, who knows, when I get this hip surgery thing, I'm going to have to do some physical therapy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start wearing contacts more often as well. I'm going to have to start get back into the yoga thing. And just start and uh, take better care of my body, you know. I'm a fucking old ass fuck. When did this happen? When did I become an old fuck? I'm an old ass Uber driver. Fucking kids in my car. You know, treating me like an adult. I'm like, no dude. I used to be just like you guys not that long ago. When did this happen? All right, let's go back to the airport. Fuck this noise. We're here at the airport. I'm gonna turn everything on, except green. I used to turn on green at the airport because sometimes you get quick little rides. All right, we're going back to Miami Beach, 43rd and Collins, similar to the one I did earlier today, but at least it's paying a few more bucks. All right. Looks like we're going back to the Fountain Blue. And it's 1036. Meaning, I'll be in Miami Beach while the 11 to $12 boost thing is going. All right. Level 32. Please tell me you're upstairs. Lower level 32. All right. Let's go. See you in... See you in Miami Beach again. And then we're going to probably wrap this up. I've talked enough, enough shit already. I wish I was in a better mood to, when I do these vlog guys. I really do wish that I... I feel like I hit my stride a few months ago. And I'm kind of like... I'm not going to say phoning these in because I'm I'm not phoning them in. I am... I don't know where to go with it. I don't know where to go with it. I've hit a standstill. I've hit a standstill. I've hit a lull. I've hit a plateau. Everybody knows the shit. I feel like I'm... I'm a little behind. I'm behind. All right. See you, Miami Beach. No sense in bitching about what a failure I am at the fucking airport parking lot. <sighs> okay. We are near the Fountain Blue. It wasn't Fountain Blue exactly. It was the Lexington Hotel. Nice hotel. We're here in North Beach. It's 11.02, so let's see. Yep. The boost pay is showing. $1.50 a ride for the next hour. So with that, I'll go ahead and turn Uber X and Uber Green on, and let's see what, what comes our way. I mean, not like a $1.50 is going to be a major difference in price, but if the airport's only sending me $16 rides from here, Back and forth. Might as well stay in the area. 
got to watch yourself in South Beach. It's like even this nice area of South Beach, whatever, Mid Beach, what it's called, or North Beach. There's always crazies around. This fucking guy dancing by himself next to this goddamn hotel. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Move. Get out of here. Move out. All right, Uber Green. Fuck. 21 minutes. You know what? Let's do it, because I'm going to charge an Aventura for 13 cents. That's perfect. Picking up here at the Fountain Blue and going to North Bay Village, which is closer to Aventura. Aventura for the next hour. Uh, that's fine. Fuck it. I'm at 27%. So I really can't spend a lot of time here. Look, this guy, this is my pet peeve with the Fountain Blue. She set the pickup here at Departures, right? Departures. But look at the map. She's clearly waiting by the front lobby. Unless she's walking. Oh, look, she's walking. She's walking over. She just realized she fucked up. Well, I'm going to turn over and be like, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here where you said to be. All right, I'm picking up, and uh, I'll, I'll probably end this vlog at the Aventura Charger once I get there. All right, dropped off this lady, girl. I don't know. I think she was a little sauced up. She was like barefoot, shoes in her hands, probably. Probably, uh, I don't think it was her that ordered the ride because I called the lady because they did do, they did make the mistake. They were at Rivals. And I went to Departures. It's funny how the Fountain Blue has still had to deal with Arrivals and Departures. Anyways, I think somebody ordered a cab for her, an Uber for her because she was a little sauced up. So we're here in Miami Shores. We're about, fuck man. Yeah, I'm gonna make it to Aventura by 11.51 p.m. So I'll get the 13 cent charger, which believe it or not, it makes a difference, but. Yeah, the airport is not worth it today. Even the group chat is saying it. Like, the problem with that is the streets are fucked up too. The streets aren't paying you shit either. So, I think I'm gonna go charge. And, bro, I haven't even broken 200 yet. I'm at 165.18. And I'm gonna start prepping the car to continue throughout the night, man, because I, I mean, my goal was to hit 300 tonight, and it doesn't look like that's gonna be a possibility. My, I was thinking even to continue heading north into Fort Lauderdale, because I always do better in Fort Lauderdale when things are slow in Miami. But might have to bite the bullet and do nightlife, stay up until 4 or 5 in the morning, 11, space. La Victoria, Wynwood. Just not in the mood for drunk people, not in the mood for drunk driving. Drunk drivers, not me drunk driving, drunk drivers. A regular ass Saturday night. Regular ass Saturday night. Not the best, not the best day to take out the vlog camera. To be honest with you, this was probably a night left undocumented. Maybe tomorrow morning. 
tomorrow morning would have been a good, hey, last night sucked, I barely made $200. It's kind of how I started this vlog, isn't it? Last night did suck. Barely made $200. It looks like this is going to be a carbon copy of last night. I'll watch Sunday be a, a, a banger. Alright, let's go charge this thing and try to wrap up this vlog because it's probably I've even lost track of how long these things are so this is probably well over an hour I just uh, wish I wasn't so stressed fucking out uh. alright I am here at the charger in Aventura I got the, uh, I got here in time for the 13 cent a kilowatt charge. As you can see right here. And nothing, man. I'm gonna, still at 165. I'm gonna, decompress here. Play my pool game. Take a little breather. See if I can get a couple rides in the uh, late shift before I call it a night. Might just have to settle with for, for a, a 200, if I can even make 200, who knows? You know, what is it, $35 more? I could probably make $35 more. But 300, I don't know, we'll see. Well, this is what I ended up making, so let's just cut to the chase. What are you going to do? Uh, all right. I guess I should sign off. Oh, I got featured on Only in Date. Well, Only in Date reposted me. It's not a big deal, but it was funny. This guy with... Uh... Oh, I might have not even saved the video. If I can find it, I'll put it here. Some guy had a backpack with, like, these eyes that were blinking at me. Is this dude's backpack blinking at me? I put me? it on my... Follow me on my Instagram. What the hell? I posted it, and I I thought it would be a nice addition. Only to in day, day, bro. So they, they reposted it on their, their uh, Instagram. If you enjoy this content, or at least somewhat enjoy it if you listen to it while you're out door dashing or uber eating or ride sharing leave a like leave a comment and if you're not sub scribe <laughs> Then sub scribe with a B B B. I'm too tired to even say it. Or if you think I'm sus, then sus scribe. This should be a rule at charging stations. Like, no loud music. This is the second time it happens to me. Yesterday in Miami Beach. No, no loud music at charging stations, bro. I don't want to hear your shit. Alright. Take care, guys. I'll see you. I'm going to try to live stream. This week. Let's hope things get better. Because they're not that great.